we're going to make our battery connector now featuring our XT60 battery connector, our two wires, and our two pieces of shrink tube. The tools we're going to be using are, again, the helping hands, the wire cutters, the solder, the soldering iron, and our pieces. We begin the process with our wire cutters and I've already set my gap there for this gauge of wire. So just take a little bit, we don't need much, just put it in, get a little twist, pull off the end, and do this to both sides. Take the black wire and do the same. After you've done that, just give each wire a little twist with your fingertips. Next step is to take our helping hands and just clip your wires in there. Make sure again that the tips are nice and tight. Take your soldering iron. I like to take my soldering iron and just put some solder on there first just to get it started and apply it under the wire. Give it a few moments to warm up and just apply some solder there. It should just flow. There we go. Don't overdo it. We just need it to kind of coat just like that. Perfect. Do the same to the other wire. Might take a few moments to apply enough heat. Repeat the process for the both ends of the wire. Take a look at your XT60 connector. You'll notice there's a square side and a triangular side. This is where we plug it into the battery, and this is where we're going to have our wires connected. What I'd like you to pay special attention to is that plus sign. Right there, that plus sign. That is our positive wire. Our red wire goes on that end. And on this side, there is a negative sign. And you notice this is the triangular side. The negative side gets our black wire. Very critical. Ground goes on this side, flat side gets the red positive. <clears throat> Using your helping hands, place your XT60 connector in place. Notice the positive side. We're going to start with the positive, and that would be the red wire. Place your pre-tinned wire right in the hole there. Give it just a little bit of a gap. And take your soldering iron, apply some heat. If you apply heat too long, you might melt something you don't want to. And that should be good. Give it a little tug, it's in there secure. Flip it over. Now we're going to go and do the ground. Take your black wire and now put it in the hole with a little gap. Apply heat and solder. The solder should flow right into the hole and just give it a moment and that should be secure. Little tug, little tug, that's perfect. Now that we have this all soldered up well, take the black shrink tube, slide it on the wire and move it all the way down so it's all the way over the brass connector, flush down. Do the same with the red shrink tube all the way down, totally covering those connectors. Now that we have that all set, we need to get our heat gun. This is mine. You could use a cigarette lighter. I prefer the heat gun. Take your shrink tube and make sure, matter of fact, I like to use my fingers to just push that down just a little bit, just to get started and give it a little heat. Careful not to burn yourself. Get that started. You want to make sure that that's flush all the way down. And then just apply the heat and it's flush. And there we go. We now have our completed battery connected, otherwise known as the pigtail.